what's going on everyone it's been a little bit over a month since i've done my last update on this tank and a lot has changed so i've been spending some much needed time with my family over this past couple of weeks and i am now back to give you guys an update on this tank which has been doing great so if you haven't already noticed, I have quite a few new corals in the tank, this Kenya tree being one of them. I've had it for about a week and a half now and I am a big fan of soft corals so I just had to get this one. I also went ahead and picked up four Astrea snails, two of which you can see right here. I've been having an issue with algae and these guys have been helping out quite a bit. So here's the next coral that I added to the tank which is this candy cane coral right here. I've been really skeptical about dealing with LPS coral since I'm pretty much a beginner in the hobby right now. And um, so far so good. This thing is really really cool to watch when the lights go out at night. It gets really active and the tentacles come out. And um, everything's been going great with this coral so I will keep you guys updated on this one. So this coral right here has got to be my most favorite coral by far in the hobby and this is my pulsing Xenia. I mean a lot of people see this as a nuisance coral in the hobby because it can easily take over your tank. It's best to kind of isolate it on its own little rock so it doesn't take over your tank but I just love the way that it pulses and flows in the tank it makes everything look so natural. So I've gotten quite a few comments and messages about how the Asta 20 light was doing and as you can see here it is doing great. The corals are doing a great job of soaking up the light that's coming from this Asta 20 and um, I would definitely just recommend it because um, my Duncan coral has been having a bad time recently and it's just now starting to kind of recover after I've added this light which is really really good. I would definitely recommend this light for someone who's got like a 5 gallon, a 10 gallon or a small tank like that it would definitely do some good in your tank. So if you guys are interested in that, I will leave the link below. Well, here's a little clip of the Duncan Coral. As I said before, it was closed for about two weeks and I was getting a little worried, but after purchasing this light, it's starting to come out, which is great. So that's the 5 gallon Pico Reef as it sits right now. Uh, if you guys got any kind of suggestions on what kind of corals I should add or if I should add like a shrimp or maybe even a goby. I'm not too sure about the goby because I got the clownfish. But anything, any kind of suggestions, I'm really, really open to it because I'm really trying to figure out my next move with this tank. But anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. If you like my content, please think about subscribing. Leave a comment on what you think I should do next with the tank. But anyways, this is Deep Fish Keeper, and as always, thanks for watching.